welcome to Namibia, home to the world's oldest desert, the world's highest sand dunes and the second biggest canyon in the world. In this video, we are going to be showing you three out of six of the best hotels in this epic country, as well as a teaser of some of the things we got up to whilst we were here. Remember to subscribe to our channel so you do not miss part two, which is coming soon. Seven long hours, but my word, this place, honestly, it's like something out of the movie. We've got one of the Gondwana hotels that we're passing now, and a kilometre from Canyon Lodge, which is where we will be spending the next two nights exploring the Gondwana Canyon and the Fish River Canyon. <laughs> So, throughout this video, we are going to be showing you the, some of the best hotels to stay in Namibia. The first one is here near the Fish River Canyon in the very south of the country. We are staying at the Gondwana Canyon Lodge and this whole place is like built into all of the, like what do you call them? Like rocks and mountains and boulders. It is absolutely stunning. Two nights, it's got a swimming pool, it's got Wi-Fi, we are in the middle of nowhere, there are animals roaming around. Let's go show you our room to start things off. Okay, so we have a twin room. Good news because it is 40 degrees outside. We have air conditioning, which is great. It's the mosquito net, but I don't think any mosquitoes are gonna be here at the moment. For coffee setup, and everything is built out of the rocks that you find in the canyon. And if you come through here, we have bathroom with shower and the whole thing is built into the boulders, which is pretty special. So yeah, this is it. Nice little cottage for the next two nights and I will let the views do the talking. How's this, eh? Life. <laughs> Chilling. This view, this sunset, this place. This is worth seven hours. Yep, and then tomorrow morning we're gonna go for a short drive to the Fish River Canyon viewpoint and then make, make our way to the coast of Namibia. We've had a super relaxing day today. We've literally just chilled out, been enjoying the ground, shot some content, 
and now we are watching the sunset from the pool which is probably the best view I've ever had from a pool. Is it? I reckon it's about 40 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually so hot. So, we have come to the canyon at midday, which is most probably the worst thing you can do. It is absolutely boiling. However, there is hardly anyone else here, and we are driving around in a car with aircon, so it's not too bad. We've just got this little short hike to one of the viewpoints, but there are some where you can literally just get out have a look and get back in. I think this will be the only one we'll be hiking to today. Woo! Oh my god, yeah, I can hear that. Yeah. <laughs> Keeps going. Wow. Oh. Hello! Oh my god! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> it sounds like someone's screaming back from miles away. So I'm now going to give you a tour of this whole place at Gondwana Canyon Lodge. It is pretty spectacular and it's quite spread out so let's get to it. There are two Gondwana hotels in this area and this is the reception. It is absolutely gorgeous. I'll take you through. This is the main building here. It's really pretty, really picturesque. I love all the pink and the white. This is the restaurant, I'll just show you here. It's a buffet style that's served for breakfast and for dinner, right over there. And then there's an outside seating area where we've sat. This is where we've sat out here for breakfast and dinner every day because the views are just absolutely stunning. And now I'm gonna take you down the path to where all the huts are. There's also on the lawn out here, crazy gold. And within every hole, there are loads of dassies. Dassies literally, one's just run <laughs> behind you there. Dassies live here and they are out here in abundance. And a dassie is, it looks a little bit like a capybara, if you know what a capybara is. And actually they're related to elephants, which is crazy because they are so small in comparison. So this is where the room starts. So each room is its own little hut and it's set between this incredible landscape. We've got incredible looking trees like this one and then there's just boulders everywhere. Honestly feels like an, something otherworldly. It's insane. So this is an example of one of the huts on my left. See, some of the hut is actually built into the original rock, which is really cool. So lots of different wild animals walk through here. So ostrich, zebra, and oryx. Because all the huts are really spread out, you get a different kind of perspective and view from each different one. So up this way is where the pool is. It is set in one of the most incredible settings we've ever seen. Check this out. So that is it for our time at Gondwana Canyon Lodge. It has been an absolute dream and a really good introduction to our time in Namibia. Bring on the next stop. Hello guys, so we've just spent the last three, three and a half hours driving and Lewis has been an absolute star. The roads have been hectic and we are just arriving at our next accommodation which is called Desert Race, another one of the Gondwana collection. We are super excited to be here and yeah, can't wait to show you around. So this is the second hotel that we would recommend you stay in in Namibia. We are currently in the Namibia Desert and this is the Desert Race by Gondwana. Now I'm going to show you what our room looks like. You ready? So, I'm going to show you our bedroom first, then go into our bathroom, and then show you our balcony. So, first of all, we have a huge double bed, super comfy. I'm so excited to sleep in that later. We have views, which I'll show you in a minute, right over the desert. I absolutely love the decor in here. It's so my vibe, and all the little touches of pink are just, just 
Now into the bathroom. It is so grand. There are marble pillars and a matching marble sink unit. Absolutely love that, as well as the gold features. As we all know, I love gold. And again, we have insane views over the Namib Desert. This is the view from the toilet. And here is the toilet. Fully fit with a shower, two sinks, all the amenities you need. So here we've got our wardrobe space and desk area. Some really cool features are our pink hangers, which are super cool. We've got a Marshall speaker and also a fridge fully stocked for us. Now I'm gonna take you out to the balcony, which is also where we have a private swimming pool. So the best part is obviously out here. We've got our own private pool here, which is perfect for cooling off in the desert. And the best part is the view behind me of sand dunes on the Gondwana Reserve. Absolutely amazing. We're currently in a bit of a sandstorm, getting blown away, but it is just, Absolutely incredible. And lastly, cool off. We've also got our outside shower here. What a perfect way to have a shower with these views. As it's so windy, we're going to quickly go back inside. So we have got two nights here and we are so excited to just relax. We'll also show you the rest of the property shortly. So dinner time at Gondwana and we have got a buffet style dinner. We've got starter station, we've got a pizza station where we can make our own pizzas and we've got a main station and we just ordered some cocktails. So I'm really excited to go and make my own pizza now. And this is the restaurant where you have your breakfast, lunch and dinner every day. of the rest of the property at Desert Grace. So as you arrive, you walk into this epic structure that overlooks the sand dunes. What a perfect window that is. I'm just gonna show you quickly the reception. Actually, when we arrived yesterday, we were greeted with pink strawberry slushies, which were so delicious. And I just wanted to show you in here because it really highlights all the pink that the hotel bases itself around. Literally so many things to sell that are pink. I actually want to buy everything. If we weren't backpacking, I absolutely would. I especially love these feather trees. They are just absolutely epic. And now I'm going to take you through to the dining area, which is where we have breakfast, lunch and dinner. So this is the dining area. It's just absolutely stunning. I love all of the chairs. I love the bar. And then with loads of touches of pink. We've got everything in here as Le Creuset or Smeg, which is just fab. And we'll show you our ice cream bar, which we had at dinner last night. Self-service ice cream. Everything here is designed so that you're always looking at the dunes, which is really cool. Now I'm going to go and show you the bar. So aside from my room, this is definitely my favourite area in the whole hotel. This is the bar. And I've got a huge fireplace in the middle, which is super cool. And an epic neon sign at the back there, which says one night in Namibia. I absolutely love that. And all this furniture is just so beautiful. I especially love the wicker chairs over there. And plus, outside, we've got a really cool seating area where each chair is a swing. And the views this side are equally as impressive, overlooking all the mountains and the rest of the desert. Second day at Desert Grace has been an incredibly chilled one. We have been on the go for about a month now, so it's been nice to just have a day by the pool. It's been absolutely boiling, so it's been very nice just to have a lazy one. So we're heading off for dinner, and then in the morning, we're going on a big tour to Sausage Fly. For those of you that know Namibia, these are two big hotspots. Play and we're going to the big June, so we'll see you there. Time to get boozy.
Hard work, this, isn't it? So guys, this is the third hotel that we are recommending you to stay at on your tour around Namibia. We are still in the Namib Desert, still by Desert Grace, which was hotel number two, and we are now at Gondwana Namib Desert Lodge. It's on the same vicinity as Desert Grace, 20 minutes down the road, but a much different feel. We're just going for some dinner and we will show you around tomorrow. We are back out exploring this beautiful place. I've literally just walked out of our door and there are 15 oryx just walking along the property, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to start here. Behind me we have fossilised sand dunes which are epic to look at and an open plain back here where all the animals pass through. We've seen loads of oryx here and especially because there is a lot of on there which they have a video recording of 24 hours a day which you can watch which is really cool. So all the accommodation are single cottages as you can see behind me. They're all over the property and yeah we'll show you inside ours. We've got our own private balcony which is great because this view is just amazing. So inside we have a huge bed which is really comfy and we've got air conditioning as well so it stays super cool in here and it's everything you can need really. Obviously the selling point here is definitely the view and seeing all the animals pass by. We even had warthogs that came inside the hotel yesterday which is really cool to see. So now I'm going to take you inside the restaurant area behind me. So this is where we come for breakfast and lunch and dinner each day. Breakfast and dinner is buffet self-service over there and then lunch you order whatever you fancy. There's a bar over there and also a games area over there with a few board games as well. And then most of the time we come outside and everyone is outside so that we can look at this amazing view. So considering we're in the desert, this place is really, really lush and green. The gardens are beautifully kept. And just behind me, we've got the first swimming pool and then there is also a second swimming pool, which is just over there next to the restaurant. So this is another one of the Gondwana collection and it is in the same vicinity as Desert Grace, but it's about half the price. So that is our tour. Tonight, we're heading out on a Sundowners Sand Dunes tour and we are really excited. in the next video where we take you to three more incredible hotels in Namibia where we go on safari, live with rhinos and are treated to a luxury hotel in Namibia's capital. They also get oryx which is like sort of looks a bit like it. See ya. Bye. So we have come. Oh, my lid out. So 330. <laughs> 350? 330. It was 350. Oh, how does that work out Start then? Start that again. So we've got our two chairs out here later when we're going to have our sets. Nice. And this is the Desert Grace Lodge. 